What is happening everybody, my name is Seven and welcome to a brand new Fortnite video. Now in today's video, we have the vending machines. I'm going to be showing you everything in regards to the vending machines in today's video. I'm going to be showing you one of the locations that we know of where a vending machine may spawn. So we're going to be jumping over here, we're going to take a look and if everything is on our side in the sense of look, our vending machine will be here waiting for us to give a good trial of it. Now, there is a system to how these actually work. We'll break that down in just a moment. And there is also a like no set location where these will spawn. There is a cycle of locations where they can potentially spawn. One of which is right here, right there in that corner. But unfortunately on this run, it isn't here. So we're gonna have to back out the game and try again. Now the way that these vending machines work are they can be found in various locations around the map at random times. So one of the locations where we know one will spawn because my mate Storm has been there. And it's also the one that I featured in yesterday's video showcasing where somebody glitched through the earth. There isn't one there all of the time, which means that they're gonna be random and they're gonna be like, for example, there might be one in Tilted one time. There might be another one in Salty, but they're not gonna be guaranteed there. So they are gonna randomly spawn over the place, which basically prevents people landing there just to go and straight away get those weapons so there is still going to be an rng attached to these vending machines now one of the worries we had was about the rarity of the weapons and how much it would cost to trade in these items i'm looking clearly at the information right now and it says that items found in common which of course are white will cost 100 materials anything uncommon which is green will be 200 materials anything blue which is rare will cost 300 anything epic which is purple will then cost uh, of course 400 and then it goes up and if you then purchase something which is legendary which is gold that will then cost you 500 materials now each vending machine will sell three different items so it'll cycle through the different items that it is selling at that time and it'll be one for each of the different material types so you might have a legendary scar that costs 500 metal and then you might end up having just a standard pump shotgun which then just costs 100 so it will rotate through and you'll have a choice so if you have loads of metal but zero wood and zero brick well then you're able to trade and at least get a weapon for whatever resource you have the most of. Now the vending machine will cycle by itself so it will change from one weapon to the next to the next and it will keep cycling all the way through but if you want to speed up the process of the cycling all you need to do is hit the vending machine with your pickaxe and it will then change weapon way faster. Now there is no purchase limit on these items you can buy as many as you wish whatever's available in there you can purchase as many times as you want over and over and over again because of course who's going to need an inventory filled, of, filled with like the same weapon I mean it's in there if you want to do it but you really don't need it so if you want say for example two snipers or you know you've got a teammate up ahead and you found the venom machine while they're moving into the zone you could trade in some items and get some weapons for them as well so you know you could gather around in squads and drop all your resources and people could then purchase them and your whole squad could walk away with golden scars i mean it's a possibility but it's very unlikely because of course legendary items are going to be harder to get a hold of if you missed yesterday's video i did discuss the first ever location that was discovered and this is of course the one next to dusty depot there's a big mountain and then there's a big abandoned building right next to there and that was the location that was first ever discovered so if you guys do find more vending machines please do let me know in the comments below where you do find them i'd love to put together a map of all the locations to help you all out but with them randomly spawning all over the map that is going to take some time so do bear with me hopefully we do manage to piece that together and get that video produced storm did land there who's the guy i always record with he landed there and he found it straight away i've tried multiple times and still haven't found it myself so there's definitely a high rng and look based thing involved with obviously finding these venom machines i cannot wait to find them and utilize them and i can definitely agree that for example we might have loads of resources towards the back end of the game one might just appear and i might just need to change out a standard ar that i've carried the whole game and i might find a venom machine with a, a legendary scar and that might just be the look that some people have you find those items bang you put it in your inventory and you're laughing i mean these are the possible things and the game changing things that can actually occur with the rotation and selection of three different items i love it i think it's going to be amazing but it, you know, I don't think with the fact that they're going to be randomly spawning, I think they're going to be less OP than people were worrying about in the first place. The fact that they're going to be random is definitely going to reduce the how overpowered they are because no one is going to be able to go, I know dead on there's going to be one there. But what we can do is go, 
there can potentially be one here. Not only that, they've also done a bunch of changes to the weapons and items in the game. And looking at this now, many of the weapons that are actually going to have first shot accuracy, basically meaning the first shot coming out of that reloaded weapon will actually directly hit. There won't be any bloom. It will go straight to the target. They have changed it and applied this to a bunch of new weapons. So it happens now with the suppressed SMG, the tactical SMG, the pistol, the suppressed pistol, the revolver, the hand cannon, the assault rifle, and the burst assault rifle as well. So the first shot that comes out of these weapons will now be 100% accuracy and then after that it will then attach the bloom where your bullets spread. Now you might be wondering how do we know that this first burst or this first shot from this weapon is going to be 100% accurate. Now they've set a rule when aiming, standing still or when the weapon has not been fired as of recent the first shot from that will be 100% accurate. So as long as you fit that category with your actual layout of the, the weapon so if you're sitting in your tower you haven't shot for 30 seconds you shoot that first burst will then of course be 100% accurate against your opponent. Not only have they changed the accuracy, they've also changed the damage rates of all the weapons as well. So all of these changes definitely impact these vending machines and the weapons they're going to be handing us. Some weapons are going to really suck at range and then they're going to be really good up close. We all know that there's problems with the shotguns and they need sorting out still. I think there's going to be a forever up and down period with these. I think we'll very much struggle to get the perfect medium with everything that we want. So they're going to keep on trial and error and so we can expect every update there'll be changes to each item in the game and who doesn't love a good limited time only mode we have high explosives back again this was so much fun now of course the rules to this are non-explosive weapons they've been removed friendly fire has been turned off and of course the storm is a little faster as well so they've they've uh, shaved some time off that they've also got spawn rates for more consumables have increased by 50 percent we've got more material spawns by a hundred percent which is crazy and of course uh, legendary guided missile has a 50 percent increased chance of dropping so everyone will be finding those floor loot adjustments they've changed a bunch of those impulse grenades have been added things like that ammo rates have been increased by about 50 percent and a bunch of other cool stuff so you can expect when you're collecting resources and playing against your friends in this limited time mode to have a whale of a time with loads of resources lots of explosives and quicker zones